posted on the corner. I'm posted on the corner. Posting on the corner with yours, Shirley Incognito. And DJ Misses. DJ Misses, we got an R&B yeah. icon in the studio tonight. Legendary, the fangirl in me is screaming right now. Mario. Oh! There you go. Stop, man. <laughs> Stop. Man, you can't introduce him. He got to introduce himself. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I walked in, Dr. Moe said it like that. <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, God. even say it. You can bring it up on you. You have to say it like that, though. It's only she right. Know. I was going. I was waiting to see you going to tell me hop in there so I Mr. the floor real quick. No. But you can do it before the end of the show, though. It's on you. Mario. Hey. Hey, he is here, man. You you back on air. You're back on What's tour. Happening? Remaining consistent. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, that's man. one thing about you, man. You're going to stay consistent. Yo, we exactly, bro. We in here. We in here, man. 365 in here. You know what I'm saying? New citizen. Yeah. My label. You feel me? We in here. Yo, what's up? Got this new Let's record. Go. Main one. It's going up. How did it come it's about? It's going up. It's going up. Just being outside, bro. Being mm -hmm. outside. Me and Ty was outside one night. Went back to the studio. And just start cooking. You know what I'm saying? Put the mic in the studio just like this. Mm -hmm. Nigga, what you feeling like? Just... No, you want to be the main one? Uh, uh. I got a whole list of names on the way. I ain't fucking with the same one. Just Come start on going now. in. You know what I'm saying? I know that's right. So, so you've been in the game since the early 2000s. How do you stay so consistent? What's keeping you going? My fans, my motivation. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, just the only way to get to it is to stay consistent. Even if you're not motivated, being consistent. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hit it, like, eventually. You feel me? So just dropping music, trying new new things, tapping in with the homies, dropping features, like, just going crazy. Mm -hmm. So how did you um, get your growth over time? How did you know, like, oh, I need to change my sound to this. I need to do this to grow. Just really just testing out new things. I listened to so many of this type of music growing up. Like, mm -hmm. I listen to everything from soul music to you know what I'm saying? 90s R&B. That's like, 90s R&B, like, that's really like the pocket where I started to understand what R&B was. Mm -hmm. My mother was playing that. That's that's what she was on. You know what I'm saying? Riding through the city, giving me, you know, keeping music around me, keeping me focused on a passion that she knew would keep me out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 1,000%. How did you know that this was the lane that you wanted to stay into? I didn't. Mm. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know, like, I wanted to do it professionally. It was just something I loved to do. I always loved music. Like, it was just, it was something that I had no doubt about. Mm -hmm. Like, I got a scroll around my arm right here with a mic on it say, I have no doubt. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, like, I know God through music, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. Mario's here posting on the corner with George Shirley yeah. and Gavino and DJ Misses. Mm -hmm. Take us back to your very first studio session. What was that like? My very first one? Very first that one. That shit was treacherous. <laughs> For real? It was treacherous, bro. <laughs> What you mean? Like, I never did a 16-hour session before mm. and had to perfect everything. Mm. Everybody like, oh, you sing so good. Do that shit again, little nigga. <laughs> 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 nah, that ain't good enough. Do it again. Like, but, you know, it was, it, was, it, was, it was all in, like, preparing me, artist development. You know what I'm saying? When mm. I came up, it was about that. It was a, it was a Dr. Doodle 2 soundtrack. Mm. And Fabulous was on the track. Mm -hmm. You, 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 look, like, you know. Look, come on, come on. Now, this been the thing. Yeah. Cause I, my main thing that I wanted to ask you was your first album, Mario, is yeah. one of my favorites. Thank I you. still jam it to this day. What's your favorite song? Um, never. Woo. That's that's my that's my ultimate one. Never. Yeah, you wanna know what's up? Period. Yeah. So would you ever re-record your whole first album again that's with a you good being question. mature now? Would you ever Ooh. redo braid my hair? Never chick with the braids, like Man, that's crazy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's like, that's a great idea. Next saying, anniversary. I've thought about it before. I'm Next saying, anniversary. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Next that's anniversary of Mario. We definitely, we definitely going to tap into that back. That It'll be, a, like, honestly speaking, that might be a bag I tap into with like a documentary or something to go mm -hmm. with type shit. You know what I'm saying? And really tell the stories of like where I was at that time. Like, because I'm thinking about doing a documentary anyway. Mm -hmm. But like, I just want to wait till like my next album my next big album you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and then after that maybe tour something but like man. i don't want to do it too early i still feel like i got a lot of life to live you to put in do. there you feel me and a lot of more music to give like, facts I was like, okay i got you, okay. Are you, I, know you yeah. I know i know you are, i got you i got you it's coming <laughs> mario you stay on road stay on tour giving it to the fans man out of, yeah. out of all these cities state to state what's one of your favorite tours you've been on my favorite tours i've been on mm -hmm. i say 
Destiny's Child. My first big international tour was with Destiny's Child when mm. I was like 19. Like traveling the world, going to different countries and like with them seeing seeing like what hard work and hits can get you. Right. Cause like it's different. You can work hard and get money, but not have hits still. And just like do your markets, but like having hits, like I was like, wow, this is this is incredible. Like, That's people dope. all the way across the world. Like it's a twenty four hour flight at the time, now they didn't shorten it to like sixteen. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, crazy tour. That's crazy that tour. Like girls singing, let me love you. Don't come even on. speak English. Like come on. Mm. They don't know where I come from. From I'm a kid from Baltimore. Like you don't know nothing about my culture, but you know my music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy to me. It's crazy. It's amazing. Guys, amazing music is incredible. So grown, grown Mario. What's the craziest thing that ever happened on tour? The craziest thing that I've had on tour. <laughs> <laughs> I like all right, so uh yeah, okay. So <laughs> this was a, this happened this happened this happened over I can there's so many crazy things. Right? Mm-hmm. This happened overseas and I was uh I was in my hotel room after a show. Wait, no no no, this was in Detroit. I'm tripping. This was in Detroit. I was in my hotel room after a show, just got out the shower and I had a big ass suite. Mm-hmm. And it was I just heard some shit in the closet like Y'all called my security. I said, yo, I think it's somebody in here in the room. Bro, I opened a closet and it was like six girls in there. Wow. Six <laughs> girls, they was quiet. I didn't hear them. I didn't hear them at all. Cause when we first got there, I had to go to the bathroom. So I was just like, yo, I'm good, I'm good. And he just, just going back to the room. Like, yeah. you feel me? Take a shower, playing music, all that. Ooh, music yeah. off, chilling. Man, I go to the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a robot. I didn't even get up there. I got. I don't know. It was. I think it was one of the people that worked there. Like a girl, like got her car, her card from home. Something happened. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. It was something crazy. Everybody was making excuses, so it was just like, man. But it was cool. It was just fans. You feel me? Yeah. But, right. Yeah. That shit was crazy. That's a crazy story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro. If I was yeah. go through your iTunes and your Spotify outside of yourself, what's something I find you listening to? You gonna find like. She gonna find Rick James. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was just listening to Rick James the other day. Like you gonna find Rick James. You gonna find uh, Future. You gonna find Travis Scott. You gonna find like Summer Walker. You gonna find all the R and B that's out right now. Everybody. Lucky Day. You gonna find. You gonna find a few people. CB. You gonna find. Yeah. That's what's it. Yeah. So what else are you working on right now that you could tell us about? Right now, I'm working on a tour, right? Yeah, so I'm rehearsing for the tour. Mm-hmm. Like, that's 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 about to go up crazy. You know, touring is, that's like, that's how you bring the music to life. It's like you bring the spirit of the music to life on tour. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It lives through people in a different way. So that's about to go crazy. Champagne and Roses tour. Me, Neo, Robin Thicke. And then after that, getting in the studio to work on a project. Mm. You got a name for it, Tip? Nah, I don't see. That's a whole different vortex. I ain't even diving <laughs> that pocket yet. Right now, right. I'm in single mode. You know right. What I'm but like, the the album pocket is is it's a different frequency. It's a different intention. It's a different focus. Because it's like you're telling a story. Like you can't even. This is something that's gonna live with people. So you gotta. That's why I don't just release projects like that until mm-hmm. I'm like really ready, ready to. So yeah. That's what's up. So do you have any other dreams that you want to accomplish that you haven't accomplished yet? Absolutely. So many. I'll start with doing the world tour. Mm -hmm. That's like the production I want, the vision that I want, being able to do it on a really high level. Mm -hmm. That's like my tour, right? That's like because inside of that, that's kind of like all the work I put in leading to that. For me, that's that'll be gratifying for me, right? Mm -hmm. Building a museum. Right now, I have like three museum ideas. One of them, I know, is going to be a billion dollar idea already, mm-hmm. off the cut. God bless you. Period. It's all good. <laughs> you good. You straight. Um, I would say, I want to have some like sustainable and eco friendly gold mines in Africa. Mm. Like that's something that like I'm tapping into right now, and I want to give back to the community. I want to build like I want to build communities that is vibrationally and spiritually built from the ground up right so that we can set forth a different consciousness in our in this generation mm-hmm. right what else what else what else a lot man i want to help the planet you feel me that's dope. i want to help heal the planet mm. right that's what's up. because 
which is crazy right now. Mm-hmm. We need that. We need we got to we got to give back to what gives to us like the planet is from God. Like don't don't let the inorganic life that is being created make you forget the organic life that's exactly. been here. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If Mario had yeah. a superpower, what would it be? Woo. If I had a superpower? It's a good question. Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they call you incognito? That's that is that a superpower? No, nah, for real. That's me for real though. That's you? Yeah, straight incognito. up. Incognito. Yeah, brother. That's fire. Yeah. What is, what has that done for you? Being incognito? Yeah. Shoot, it's been allowing me to uh just grow and develop personally and professionally. I love you know it. what I mean? Yeah. Give so much of myself without giving so much of myself. Word, word. That's a superpower. <laughs> Truly. That's fire. Man. Uh if I had a superpower, I already feel like I got superpowers. But I do have superpowers, but if I had one that was more built into my DNA, if I unlock my DNA for me to actually do it, yeah. which is a lot of hard work, and it, sometimes it takes lifetimes after a lifetime to do that, probably be invisible. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do it now, but it's like it's more like I'm still in the space with you, but I can make my energy invisible to where it might take you longer to feel me, or you might not tap into the reality I'm in because this is on a different frequency, but like... I can't do it yet to where my flesh ain't here no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, the girls yeah. in the closet had it till they started making noise. <laughs> <laughs> they was invisible. Y'all messed up. <laughs> so speaking of the ladies, you know the ladies love you. Being yeah. loving you. So are you dating right now? Or are you focused on your plans? What's going on? Focus on dating my plans. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, mm-hmm. But that's the where the real energy at. But mm-hmm. like my little residual energy i have no mm-hmm. disrespect but like you know it's an energy thing but anybody in my life that's in my life right now that i love mm-hmm. we all need we in each other's life for a purpose you feel me i don't even like to put titles on it i just it's just a frequency that's i've recognized and i've that been here before mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and i'm like all right i'm rocking with it mm-hmm. yeah so you just vibing Long Whatever story you trying to put your own titles on what I just told you. Long story short. <laughs> That's the story you want to tell yourself. I told you my story already. <laughs> Man, you've been doing this thing. I mean, you grew up in this game. And, and it was a show back on TV back in the day. Had everybody in a chokehold called BT 106 in part. Facts. <laughs> you had the chance to stay on that countdown, grace that stage, yeah. and do some things we dreamed about, bro. Shout out to Literally. the fans that was popping up to the shows, though. They What's was, your biggest lit. 106 in part memory, bro? Hitting uh hitting AJ in the mouth with the pillow and the mic hitting his mouth when oh. he was trying <laughs> box me. <laughs> what? Little one. Cause look, I never knew that. Notice that that happened. You wanna pull it up right now? Insert the clip. We got the clip. We got to look hey, that man, up. Hey man, AJ OG though. That's it being one of those things that memory. That's man. Uh, on the road, man. In but your the fans, spare time. Just all the fans, bro. All the fans, so. Bro. In your, in your spare time, are you watching movies? Or are you watching TV shows? What kind of guy are you? Um, Man, thinking. I'm in my head a lot. Every time I watch a movie, I'll be like, I want to make a better movie than this. <laughs> 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 nah, but I um spend a lot of time with my dogs. I don't really have a lot of spare times right now, bro. Mm. Honestly, I should be working, bro. Like, Understood. I really don't. I just thought about it. Like, Damn, when the spare time do I I don't have it. A tour coming up, you know, fans is in high demand. Like, I really want to give them everything they gave me. Mm-hmm. So, putting the show together right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But with doing all of that, how do you protect your peace? Because you got to have time for yourself. I got to protect it right now. Mm-hmm. I just protect it on the go. Mm-hmm. Can't be like, all right, I'm going to unprotect you for a minute and I'll get back to you later, nigga. Mm-hmm. Nah, like, you got to protect your peace at all times. But some of the things I do when I get home is just make sure my space is already peaceful. Mm. So like I keep certain books around that have certain titles on it. I keep certain candles around. I keep you know sage around. I keep certain spirits that I let live in my house while I'm not there that I resonate with. Mm-hmm. You know that are peaceful and and still here. Maybe they're loved ones that haven't left already all the way. Maybe they're you know. But it's all a part of the peaceful tribe. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you can go yeah. back and act in one of your favorite movies, which one are you acting in? Boomerang. Boomerang. That's perfect. Or, <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say? Okay, what you trying to say? Say what you say with your chest. That's perfect. I'm saying it's perfect. Nah, for sure. For sure. Nah, Boomerang. 
<laughs> Billy, that's, that's a freak. Huh? Tripping on the feet. <laughs> Man. That was crazy. I know they had to do some makeup work on that. That couldn't be real. That couldn't. That couldn't, that couldn't, couldn't like be that that real. <laughs> so, you know, when music changes so much over time, yeah. how do you feel about the current state of hip hop and R and B? Um, the current state. I mean, the current state is the current state. I mm -hmm. mean, it's whatever energy is coagulating and you know being put out i think i think that i could find what i like mm -hmm. whenever i want it you know what i'm saying so that's what's important to me and i think that it's about us creating what we want um if we judge what we see it's, it's like pointless you got to create what you want right so if you want to be a part of creating this type I, I love the music that's out i love a lot of the music that's out because it's true to whoever that is mm -hmm. that person they live in there that purpose but um i'm a 90s 80s i'm sorry a 90s 2000 or the 2000s when it comes to the hip-hop and r&b mm -hmm. and like i would say 80s too mm -hmm. r&b 80s was fire and then everything else is kind of like music that i hear that could be in the future mm -hmm. for sure yeah if you could change one thing about the industry what would you change what would i change I can't really mm, change about the industry. Mm. Cause you have seen a lot that's of people a, come a, and go. Uh, yeah, stay in yeah. It, you know. I would change how much artists are paid for what we do, mm. and I would just mean like artists, like sign artists. I mean writers. Truly get paid for what they deserve. Like if it was a fair trade of energy and commerce. Mm -hmm. Energy and currency, energy and currency, then that made me happy. It'll sure. get there hopefully. Mm. In your passport, what's your favorite stamp? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say Africa, bro. Mm. Like, first of all, it's just you don't get it till you go. It's just beautiful, man. I've been to like nine or ten different countries in Africa. Um, I don't. I can't say that I have a favorite, but Africa as a whole, and it's still so much to discover. Mm -hmm. Has so much history, so so it's so beautiful. It's so black. It's so raw. You know, um, it's bittersweet because there's a lot of corruption, but there's also so much potential and and beauty. And there's a lot of great things that are happening in Africa that that we don't always hear about. Um, my second favorite, Australia. There's a frequency in Australia and New Zealand that's crazy. I can't even explain it. Mm -hmm. Like that I felt when I was there. Um, so yeah, I was saying it's beautiful. Yeah. That's dope. If you can go back in time and talk to a younger Mario, what advice would you give him? Shit, I would tell him to have more fun. Okay. I would say have more fun, man. Be a kid, be be a teenager, go out and, and be free, make mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. That's what I would tell him. So as a kid, you felt like the spotlight was on you so much that you didn't really have no like leeway to make yeah, a lot of mistakes. I, I think that I was just closed off to. I had to protect myself from such a young age, mm -hmm. even within my own family. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Which I love my family, but I had to protect myself. And then from there, moving, you know, into a field like this, it was like, damn, like. I don't trust nothing. You mm -hmm. feel me? I don't trust. So it's like as a kid, when you lose that trust, you know, if you're a kid and you understand how this feels, you know what time it is. When you lose that trust, it just make you move a certain ways that's so guarded that you're not enjoying life. Mm -hmm. That's why they say, yo, keep kids pure for as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? But it's a balance, of course, right? But I think that's what it is. What advice do you have for yourself right now? Right now? That's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Like like my older self looking back at myself now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust yourself more. Mm -hmm. Trust your intuition more. What right? I think that can always happen. And also I would say, um Yeah, I would say that. Because that there's a lot of other things that fall into that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Mm. Mario, if you was gonna make a movie today, what would you title it? Mm. 
Mm. I would t- I actually probably got it written down in my phone. I would title t- t- title title it Imagine. Mm. That's hard. Like I can see what it would be about. That's hard. Hey DJ misses the countdown to August twenty seventh is on, right? Come on now. That's yeah. his birthday. <laughs> we still want to know what's your most memorable birthday. My most memorable birthday. Hmm. Woo! That's a good one. Uh, taking me through. Today. How you love that? <laughs> yes, sir. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll check back in August 27th, see how you feel, too. Already. <laughs> Already. <laughs> now, the Champagne and Roses tour is on deck, on this yeah. tour, man. What are you giving to the fans? <sighs> man, I'm still putting the show together right now. We're almost done. But this show right here is, um, it's electric, but it's, like, smooth. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought about electricity and, like, also, like, soul connection, right? Excitement. But also relaxation and healing and like enjoyment, like really bring the music to life at this point in time, having a conversation, but like with a different intention. Um, yeah, I'm sharing a stage with art, three, two other artists that have slightly different audiences too. Mm-hmm. Like Robin has a slightly different audience. Like we all bringing something different. So Definitely. I'm grabbing some new fans as well. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about that too. So. But y'all come on out, man. Atlanta gonna show up though. That's Atlanta real. gonna be in a building. And the mic is like, always on. Whew, I love you, Atlanta. <laughs> the mic is I always you, on. I wish I was going home on this tour to Baltimore, but definitely on my on my tour, I'm stopping. I think I'm gonna do two dates in Baltimore for sure. Got to. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. all right. Out of your career, what's your proudest moment to date? My proudest moment to date. I think it was. I think it was really just like coming up with my imprint, like New Citizen, and like really at that time in my life, you know, it was my first time really like stepping out and doing the independent situation, just to learn it from a business aspect, um, what that would feel like. Um, and I created New Citizen because I felt like I was I was basically becoming a new citizen of my own personal universe. So it was, I was having a spiritual journey, but I was also having the business journey and the creative journey. Mm-hmm. So that's where New Citizen came from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, DJ Misses. Yes, sir. He done grew up with us. Come on now. Let's show. Our first cousin. Everybody you in the did. World. Hello. Man, Watch and I feel that. Come I on. feel that. Boy to a man. I feel that. R and B. Thank you. I appreciate you. Backwards, Mario. Come on. <laughs> like I said, the mic stay on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just woke that boy up. He was over there knocked out. He hit that. Back. <laughs>